Well, hello to all. Pastor L here of St. Paul's UMC Maxton. Um, and today is Tuesday night praise and worship. And I want to sing to you a good old time uh, favorite hymn of mine, When We All Get to Heaven. Let us worship together. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. A merciful and gracious God, we are thankful that we can praise you and we can sing to you, that we can be in your presence. And Father, we do look forward to that day uh, when we will see you face to face, uh, knowing fully well, Lord, that we can experience you here today. And Father, we are just so thankful uh, that you are with us. Uh, that you uh, walk with us and talk with us. And Father, we are just uh, thankful for everything that you do. It is in the name of Jesus Christ we do pray. Amen. Well, I do want to share with you a passage of Scripture, one that we have been reading uh, this past uh, weekend, and uh, there was a little Bible study going on with it, and I just wanted to, um, to share with you. Uh, this passage of scripture which comes from the gospel of John chapter 10 and I'll just read verses 14 onward so I invite you now to hear the word of God uh, Jesus speaking says I am the good shepherd I know my sheep and my sheep know me just as the father knows me and I know the father I and I lay down my life for the sheep I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice. And there shall be one flock, one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life. Only to take it up again. And no one takes it from me. But I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Um, beautiful, beautiful passage of scripture here today. Just reminds us that God is the good, that Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. And that the good shepherd does take care of his sheep. Uh, that the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And it's exactly what Jesus Christ does on the cross. He lays down his life for you and me in order that we might live, in order that we might experience new birth, in order that we might experience new life in Jesus Christ. And um, and so today we are reminded that Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd, that we are his sheep. And as I was reading this passage of scripture, a thought did come to me, and I mean, I'm taking some liberties with the text here, but uh, wouldn't it be great if we could somehow graduate from being sheep to being 
the sheepdog. And of course, during that time, uh, you didn't use sheepdogs and that wasn't a thing. Uh, but we know about them now and we know uh, the loyalty of, of these uh, dogs, these work dogs have for their, for their shepherd. And wouldn't it be amazing that instead of being this dumb animal that always find itself needing to be taken care of, that always finds itself uh, running away, that always finds itself in danger, that always finds itself not listening to the shepherd, uh, not following the shepherd, but straying and, and being lost, that we could somehow become a sheepdog. You think about these sheepdogs, these work animals, and uh, they are loyal. They spend time with their the, the good shepherd. They get to know the good shepherd very intimately. Uh, there is communication between this sheepdog and the shepherd, right? The shepherd uh, has to be able to communicate with the sheepdog in order for them to work together. Uh, and if if when the time when the moment time comes, the the sheepdog also protects uh, the rest of the sheep along with the shepherd. And so as I was pondering this, and I've thought about it in the past. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing to to be called a sheepdog? Uh, to to have that kind of personality as we walk along with the good shepherd, uh, not to be like the sheep that uh, so easily run astray, but to be a loyal sheepdog, one who communicates with the shepherd, one who knows the shepherd intimately and one who is willing to also lay down his life alongside the shepherd. And I know, I know it's hard. <laughs> but as we journey along with Jesus Christ, as we wake up each morning and make the decision that today I will follow God, today I will listen to God, today I will be in a relationship with Jesus Christ, as we do that every every day, we do become more, more like Jesus Christ. And man, so maybe along the way, we'll be compared more like a sheepdog instead of the sheep. Uh, and so that is, that is the good news uh, for us today, that uh, until that day comes, until we do until we can reach that if we are even able to god is with us uh, he's with us along the way as we continue to grow as we continue to to develop a more intimate relationship god is with us no matter where where we at and so to god be the glory uh, that that he is the good shepherd and that the good shepherd does take care of of the sheep and um, so I'd like to end with a word of prayer. Uh, let us pray. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks that, that you are a good, good father. Uh, we give you thanks that you are the, the good shepherd. And we give you thanks that you provide for us, that you take care of us, that, that no matter how many times we mess up, you're there for us. And Father, as we walk with you, we just pray that, that along the way we can be more like you, Jesus. That we can uh, see the way you see, love the way you love, and forgive the way you forgive. Uh, Father, uh, we just pray for, for everyone uh, in our community, for everyone that's listening. We ask you that, that you continue to be with them, continue to to give them what it is they need at this point in their lives. And Father, we just want to give you all the praise and all the glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. A couple of uh, announcements. Um, yes, two days ago, Sunday, Sunday evening, we had our first Sunday sunset service. I think it went pretty good. It went okay. There was a few hiccups, but I'm already working to, to make those adjustments to, to fix that up. So next Sunday evening at 6.30, 
6.30 to about 7 o'clock, might pass a little bit over, but around 7 o'clock, 30 minutes, we'll have uh, another service, a uh, Sunday sunset service. So I'm inviting you to please come out and, and join us for service. Uh, it's a drive-in service, so you get to stay in your cars. We are asking you to remain in your cars. Don't come out of your cars. And you can either listen through the speakers or you can put your radio on and it will be playing through the radio. Uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday, we will have um, Wednesday night Bible study, and it's via Zoom. So we send that link out, so be on the lookout for that. I invite you to join us. We've been doing uh, some of the parables, and we'll continue to do uh, the parables for a couple of more weeks. So I invite you to come out to that. And for those who can't come to the Sunday sunset service, the drive-in service, we, are, we will continue to send out videos. Um, Sunday morning so be on the lookout for those videos Sunday morning as well and so with all that said I pray blessings of peace uh, be upon you and your family from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Amen